Hey guys, welcome back. So today I wanted to share with you some of my short hair dog tips and tricks. This is my mom's dog. His name is Murphy. I call him Frog Boy. Don't really know where that nickname came from, but this is the frog. So, um, first things first with your short haired bass, one thing I always recommend is doing a really good de-shedding shampoo. This is going to be the one I usually use. This is the Eye Groom De-Shedding and Detangling Shampoo. This works really well on a variety of dogs, but I especially love it on my short-haired dogs. It smells really good. It's also really conditioning, so it keeps them nice and soft. Now, the second thing I'm going to recommend, you're going to be like, oh my god, I can't believe this. You're going to condition them. Okay, and the reason we condition, a lot of people think that conditioner is going to make the hair take longer to dry. That is not true. And the reason is, is when you shampoo, when you picture that hair follicle, picture a pine cone, right? Those little ridges are out. So that's what your hair looks like after you shampoo. So if you don't condition, the hair all wants to stick together. You really need that outside layer to close, to push that water out and to get that hair follicle nice and silky smooth. Or not follicle, the hair strand nice and silky smooth. So. When you condition, what the conditioner does is it starts to close that outside cuticle for you. So that is why we always want to condition. Um, today I'm going to be using the Flash Thermo Active Mat Mask. This is by Hydra. You can buy it on PetSociety.com. The reason I like this is, I don't know if you guys can see right here, it says results in 90 seconds. So you only have to leave that on there for 90 seconds. And I'm going to show you a little bit later in the video how much you actually need. It's a very, very small amount but it's gonna make a world of difference. So we're gonna go ahead and use the conditioner. I just gave him a really good bath. You wanna get him really nice and squeaky clean. That will help you to dry them a lot faster. So we're gonna use the, thermo, or the Flash Thermo Active Mask I told you about. We're using about this much on him. And you're not gonna just like run it down his back. I like to disperse it in between my hands first and kind of just like put it all over. You want it as even as you can get. And again, we're gonna leave that on for about 90 seconds. The next thing we're gonna do is use a good leave-in conditioner. I'm gonna be using this Eye Groom Silicone Free 3-in-1 spray. Um, and you'll just give them, you know, a quick little spray. So they really don't need a ton, especially if you already condition. You can kind of rub it through if you want. You can use, there's a lot of different leave-ins that you can use on this type of fur. It's really hard to like weigh this fur down. So don't be too concerned with the leave-ins. Like as long as you get something, I like the um, Hydra has some good leave-ins, like their soft touch spray is really good. Anything like that is a good leave-in for this type of hair. And again, it's going to do the same thing I told you about earlier. It's going to close that outside cuticle and help to speed up blow dry time. There's a lot of them, like I know this Eye Groom Wonder Spray, for example, specifically says that it's made to speed up blow dry time. So you can also look for things like that on the bottle if you're really looking up to speed up blow dry time. So the next trick I have for you is take your favorite cologne. This one is my favorite of the of now times. Um, this is called Forever Winter, not Winter. If you follow me on Instagram. Um, and what we're gonna do is he is like 95% dry. I still need to dry his head, but his body is pretty much there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that this is spraying the right way, and then we're gonna give him a couple spritz, and then we're gonna blow dry him even more, and that will blow dry that cologne down into the coat and. If he gets wet this week, goes out in the rain, when he comes back in, he'll be smelling like that rather than wet dogs. So try it out. It makes your perfume last forever. All right, you guys. So we're going to finish him up real quick. The last couple of little things that I do that I don't see done at the average grooming shop is I'm going to take my 5-in-1 clipper on a 40 setting or whatever setting you like to do your paw pads on, and I'm going to do his paw pads real quick. Now, he's got a nail that is in kind of rough shape on this back foot. But since he's my mom's dog and I know he's already been to the vet, um, I'm just gonna be careful. Don't wanna aggravate it any more than it is already aggravated. Um, so anyway, quick little dip to the paw pads, shave that paw hair off. And then I'm gonna take this Eye Groom Canine Skin Rescue Moisturizer and I'm going to be using this on his paw pads. Again, I'm gonna be really careful on this one because we knew that he, he went to the vet last week actually he had a dew claw that he'd ripped off and it looks like he had started to rip off this back toenail as well he's a rough and tough kind of guy you would never know it because he's so quiet and chill but he can be kind of rough and tough so anyway all i do is just get a little bit on my hands and just rub it in really nicely to their paw pads and this just keeps their feet really nice and soft so 
Those are the couple little add-ons that I do. Really doesn't add much time to my schedule, but those are things that will separate me from other groomers. So my clients will notice their dogs are softer than the, when they go to other groomers. They also notice that they smell better longer. They also notice the accessories. So these little add-ons will separate you from other groomers. So there's a reason I can charge $75 for this dog, whereas maybe the pet smart down the street charges 45. And those are the little bit of extras that separate me from other groomers. So uh, I hope this gives you guys some insight on how I do things and maybe gives you a few new ideas to try out in your shop. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.